hi guys um welcome to my youtube channel this is joe and in today's video i'm going to show you how to create a google forms so um creating a google form is quite straightforward uh, but then it can be a little bit technical for someone that is new to doing this so to create a google form the first thing you need to do is to go to docs.google.com so when you go to docs.google.com you'll be presented with the google docs home page um, do not fret we are going to create a form but you have to the google forms feature is under the google docs so you have to come to this main menu right here click on the main menu and then you have to select forms from the main menu you can also see other google products under the main menu but today we are going to go for forms and then i'll click on forms right here so you'll be redirected to the forms home page and this is what you get when you get to the forms home page so you can create a blank form and then Google has some nice templates that you can use to jumpstart your form creation process. So for example, let's say you want to create a party invite form. You want people to RSVP for your party. You can use the RSVP form and then people can use this to RSVP. If you want to create an invitation form, you can use this for that. So let's use a template called RSVP right here. So I'm just going to click on this and then Google will give you a template of a ready-made form that you can customize um, for your event so um, basically here you are with the form you can see there's an image header image here there's a title which you can edit so when you click on this you can click it and say um, house party RSVP okay we can move to the next line which says address and then you can edit this to your address and then we move on to the question segment so this is just to provide this is informational segment <coughs> where you provide information about the um, form and here this is a question can you attend so when you click on this this is a multiple choice type of question you can see it right here so there are different types of questions we have check boxes drop downs file upload um, dates and time and the likes so this is a multiple choice question that allows people to choose yes or sorry and of course you can add um, another option like may be okay and then you mark it required which means this is a compulsory question that everybody must answer if you want people to skip it you can switch this off and then it's no longer required but then we'll keep this as required before because we want to know if people are going to attend or not so now I'll click outside the form and then uh, you can see we have another option here that says maybe so what are the names of people attending this is a paragraph field which allows people to enter um, the text here to explain to um, list out the names of people that are going to attend the event so you can see it right here um, this is a multiple choice option how did you hear about this event from your website from a friend from a newsletter you can even add an option say social media okay and then here we have with the forms so now to preview your forms you will see this eye icon at the top of the screen click on this eye icon it's going to show you a preview of your form so here is it what your forms will look like to um, outsiders or anyone that want to fill it so they can choose their options they can say yes i'll be there names of people attending john doe mike then they can drop a comment we will come 10 minutes earlier and they can submit the form now the form has been submitted so now let's go back to the tab where we have our form um, if you look at the top right there, you see that there's responses and then there's a one in front of you. that shows that one response has been received for this form so when I click on responses you can see the details of the response so I fill the form right now and then here you can see all the responses to your forms there's a link to the sheets so Google automatically links your form responses to a spreadsheet which allows you to do a lot of um, nice stuff like um, visualizing the data and um, managing the data very well so as you can see this is 
all the form fields have been converted um, into columns and rows uh, on the spreadsheet and everyone that fills the form will be automatically entered into the sheet so back to the form can okay, go back to, go to settings to adjust the settings for my form and i can go to the questions to add or delete uh, from this question so we're going to go back to the forms page and then we're going to create a form from scratch so this time around we're not using a template we're going to create a form from scratch so what do i do i click on blank form and then when i click on blank form i'm able to create a new google forms from scratch so now we are creating a new form from scratch and you can see it's an untitled form so the first thing we are going to do is to give it a name so i'm going to name it job application form so um the idea is that this form is going to be used for people who wants to apply for a job position at our company so as you can see the title has been updated and then the description i'm going to fulfill this form to apply for the open job role okay and um you could make this bold italics um there are different formatting options available for you from google docs so now the first question is um you, have, you need to add a question so the default is multiple choice but then i'm going to change this to a short answer and then the question is going to be what is it's going to be full name so now the first question is we want the user to add their to put their full name as an answer in this particular field so this is going to be a required field so we're going to toggle this on so this means that the user must answer um, this question so the next thing is we want to add another field for your question so you go to this plus button this plus button allows you to add a question to the field okay so i click on plus and then we have a new section down here and this is going to be a um, select drop down so here i'm going to put years of experience of experience and then the first option will be zero to one years then the second option will be one to three years of experience the third option is going to be three to five years and then the last option is going to be um, five years uh, plus so now this is going to be a drop down selector where the um, users can pick an option from this so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to put another field here and this is going to be um, a paragraph field so for this i'm going to cover put cover letter so the user can put their cover letter into this field so i'm going to make this required and then i'm going to make the cover letter optional so then i'm going to add um, another question somewhere here and i'm going to name it um say let me choose a choice an option here file upload and then i'll continue so this is going to be upload cv so now this allows the user to upload their cv and then we can set these file types so i'm going to set the file type to pdf and document so the user can only upload a pdf or any other form of document like microsoft word there's a maximum file size and the number of files that the user can upload you can adjust this as you want so that is it for um, our job application form so let's preview this form to see what we have uh, created so i'm going to click on this eye icon here to preview the form and here we are with the job application form you can see full name is required joe smith years of experience is a drop down and then you can upload your csv and then you can put your cover letter here and then you can submit this form so let's do something i want the cover letter to come before the cv so what do you do we go back to the form and then you're going to drag right here you can see these six dots at the top it allows you to drag a field and rearrange them okay so you can drag this right here 
or you can drag this up and then you drag this up to rearrange and then you drag this right here and then you can move this so you can use this drag to rearrange um, the way you want your form to be presented okay so now let's go back to previewing the form and then you see that some arrangements have been done now the cv is at the bottom and the cover letter is right here so you can use this drag feature to rearrange um, your form fields so let's refresh the page and then you discover that the cover letter is at the top now the years of experience is below and this is down there so that's basically how it e easy it is to create um, a google form when you go to the responses tab you'll be able to view all the responses um, to your form and then the settings tab also allows you to customize um, the appearance and some other things about your form you can enable the progress bar you can shovel the question you can edit the confirmation messages and do a lot more uh, with your google forms so that's basically how it is and how easy it is for you to create a google form so if you've enjoyed this video and you like this video kindly click the subscribe button below and subscribe to my youtube channel i really appreciate you subscribing thank you so much for watching and if you have any questions drop it in the comment section i'll be waiting to answer your questions